Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. Today, I'm joined uh, by two very special guests from Edge Connects. We have Steve Lorenzo and Kevin Imboden. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you, Buffy. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Yeah, so exciting. I mean, we're going to be talking about the hottest markets and what it means for the future today. Um, but in addition, maybe a little bit about some tacos and Tex-Mex. Uh, we are here live from Austin. So why don't we start with you, Kevin? Uh, you're the Global Director for Market Research and Intelligence for Edge Connects. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about your role and the work that you're doing? Sure, and that, I know it's a big mouthful of a title, but what I do essentially is keep track of what's going on market to market, what our competitors are doing, what markets we should locate in, strategy to do so, and so forth. So there's a, a lot packed in there, so there's a lot of travel, a lot of meeting with folks across the industry, and uh, a lot going on at all times, too. Yeah, definitely a lot going on at all times in our industry. And at Edge Connect, you mentioned competitors. I didn't realize that you had any, but... Well, that's very kind of you. We might have one or two, yeah. Uh, and Steve, why don't you introduce yourself and tell viewers a little bit more about what you do? Sure, Buffy. I'm a director of solutions architecture or solutions engineering, as some people may know better. Um, I work on these deals that come into uh, our bucket for size, scope, power, space, cooling. We provide guidance on, you know, base case scenarios, uh, things of that nature where Customers have big outsourcing deals, and we work on those to figure out what fits them best and where we can support them, whether it be in the North America or overseas. And for everyone out there who's watching, he's really good at it, too. So, <laughs> Thank you. And you're a native Texan, is that correct? I'm actually not a native oh, Texan, okay. but I did get here as fast as I could for the tacos that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. No, I'm actually from Louisiana, okay. so down the bayou is what we call it. So, so nice to have you gentlemen here. So uh, Edge Connect's ex expertise and experience, in case viewers don't know, is building the edge uh, where customers want it, when they want it, and how they want it. What are some of the hot markets right now? Well, overwhelmingly, we're getting a lot of traction in Southeast Asia. Okay. Um, all across the region, there's a lot of interest there. Jakarta's been a very hot market for us for expansion for quite a while now. Um, India is we have our joint venture relationship with Adani. We're going to be doing over a gigawatt. That's right, a gigawatt of data centers over the next decade or so. So that's in several core cities across India. Um, some of the markets in Western Europe are still holding. So the flat markets are still of interest. Yeah. There's still always a lot of growth there, limited based on the you know energy constraints. Right. Um, but yeah, those are some of our, our prime growth areas. And then we've been successful in Latin America as well. So there will be some uh, further announcements coming there too. And Steve, any predictions on uh, what markets will become even hotter and hotter as the year goes on? I don't think we can pinpoint it at this time, but I believe markets that are going to be the target in the future are the ones where power costs are cheaper. Wherever power costs can be affordable for these huge people that are outsourcing, right. I think it's going to make a big difference. Uh, I don't think we're in the way of anymore where you need to be in these certain areas. I think, and when we say the edge is take it to wherever the customer needs right. it. So I think uh, you'll hear stories of Nebraska, uh, West Texas, okay. uh, outskirts of Atlanta, well outskirts of Atlanta. Uh, it really, I don't think it's a target market. I think it's a target market from a power perspective where the rates power. are going to be. Yes. So I think power that's power is driving everything, everything cost mm -hmm. and availability. Okay, yes. great insight. I mean, we've there. run the uh, the whole world out of power as an industry, right? <laughs> we we vacuumed up all the power, so anywhere anything that's left, we got to grab. So, right for sure, because without power, uh, there is no end. The lines right? are out. Yeah. Uh, so we've been evolving as an industry, you know, over the past decade or so. It's just continuously evolving here, and 2024 is right around the corner. How do you foresee the industry changing as we end the year? and enter a new one, uh, what, and what will drive these changes? And power, obviously, is uh, one of those key drivers, as it will continue to be. Uh, but why don't you give us some more insight there? So the, the power availability question, that's primary, but also that's changing, as, as Steve indicated, because of the AI requirements that are coming. So everyone's trying to figure out how to integrate AI into their workloads. And in doing so, 
that's resulting in a slight change. So power is important, but maybe it's less connectivity when you're building a model. You're building an AI model, it can just be out in the middle of nowhere where power is cheaper. You run through that model, then you distribute it. So now the location situation is changing, but then how you build the data center is changing. You have to go much denser rack to rack, and the cooling then has to change on top of that. So we're having to just make these shifts and maybe make these densities different because you're looking at something that's four to five times what it used to be. And then you have to go back in the background and engineer it. Yeah, correct. And I think the uh, I think he, Kevin hit it right on the head is the uh, AI component of our business is going to drive everything. Uh, in the past, we've built five megawatt data centers or facilities. Uh, in the future, I think the smallest ones you're going to see are 100 megawatts. Uh, and you're going to see the footprints, a lot more power consumed in one footprint than you used to see in an entire data hall, maybe. Right. So it's, uh, it is evolving and quickly. I mean, the hockey stick is definitely for AI. Is, and the thing is, nobody can put their finger on it right now to tell you where the limits are because there are none. Uh, it, it really is just a, it's going to be something that overtakes our industry as operators and trying to figure out how are we going to meet the needs of the customer keep in the up future. With it, right? Yeah, stay ahead of it. And I don't think we can. I think it's more just what you said, keep up with it. Yeah, at this point. Correct. I mean, AI, we, we're actually taking a tally here. I, I believe Allison's taking that tally. How many times will we say AI uh, here at the conference? And <laughs> what are we here, up to, hundreds? Here on JSA TV. I mean, mm. everyone's talking about it. Uh, it's definitely a key driver for our industry and for, you know, our future as, as we uh, move ahead into 2024. Uh, but back to this year, uh, we're still here in 2023. It's been an exciting year of growth as each and every year has been uh, for Edge Connects. What can we expect to see specifically uh, from Edge Connects in the future? Well, um, those of you who are looking at the press wires today probably provided by JSA. Uh, we're going big in Malaysia. That's uh, that's going to be a huge growth market coming up for us. We have three different sites in the Kuala Lumpur metro area, and we're looking at sites uh, elsewhere in the country. So this will be a total of 300 megawatts of full build out. So this is very sizable. It's in a reaction to all the requirements that are coming throughout Southeast Asia. Um, we're looking at a few other key markets, so keep very uh, close eye on what we're doing. And then also, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't make a a personal plug for some work I'm doing. Um, just launched a podcast with Jabez Tan of Structure Research called the Arc Flash Podcast. Oh, nice. So, uh, Arc, Flash? Arc Flash, yes. Uh, I, I thought people would get the yeah. atten that'll get people's attention. So yeah. that'll be having a lot of guests from across the industry. So uh, pay attention to that too. And that's with our friend Jabez. That's with our friend Jabez, the Structure oh. Research. So he and I are the co-hosts. So. so definitely check out that podcast. Uh, where can we find the podcast? Is just, it on your website? or? Uh, yeah, it's on the website, but also pull it up on YouTube. We, we have a, just a YouTube channel, so you can ask, access it there. I post everything on LinkedIn. He does as well. So. Oh, nice. Anything from your side? I think from uh, our perspective uh, in Edge Connects uh, is sustainability. I think you're going to see we've continuously pushed it. That's going to be our message going forward, and uh, we actually practice what we preach. So I think that's going to be a big driver in the future of data centers, especially for our business. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. So the Malaysia announcement is out today? Out today. All right. So for viewers that are tuning in, be sure to check out the announcement from Edge Connects uh, regarding their expansion into Malaysia. And be sure to keep your eye out for all the sustainability news and updates coming out of Edge Connects and that great podcast um, with our friend Jabez from Structure Research. Thanks, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.